Okay, so before doing this video, uh, I'm editing it right now, and I do mention this briefly later in the video, but I would like to say that I have never once performed a salvia extraction. I got this from another user on Arrowin, and I'm going to post, you know, all the pictures and everything I just got from a very good Arrowin extraction method that I found, and I'm going to post the link to that in the bio. I don't want to pawn anyone else's work off as my own. I'm going to post it in the description, so if you really want to do this and want to study it more, uh, there's more pictures, a little bit more information. I tried to make it dump, super simple for this video, but uh, yeah, I've never done this extraction, never attempted it, and I also don't really plan on doing it because it's not very cost effective. Okay, this is a video on a salvia extractin of sal extraction of salvia divinorum. Um, you know, it was requested by a couple of people, and it's really easy, so I thought I would do it, uh, but to do this, this extraction, you're going to need... Uh, salvia leaf, right? And really, it, it probably is just going to be cheaper and a lot easier to make your, you know, just to buy extracts online if you can. But, you know, the salvia extraction can be very cool. And in this extraction, um, there's going to be different levels. Like, you can make your own extract that you can buy. You can make an extract a little bit that's a little bit more pure than that. And I'm even going to do all the way up to actually salvinorum uh, crystals here, right, in this video. So, um, I don't think you can buy salvinorum crystals online, so, you know, depending on how pure you want it, you know, there's going to be difficulties, but, you know, I'm going to say, you know, at some parts of the video, all right, you're done, this can be your salvia extract, but if you want to make it even more pure, you can keep listening. I really doubt that people are, I don't know, I, I don't think it's worth the effort to get all these salvia crystals, and it kind of is a waste, but, um, you know, this was requested, everyone asked for it, or a couple of people did, so, you know, I really hope you enjoy, really, really easy, and I mean, you know, even if salvia is legal, maybe, you know, it can just be fun to extract salvia just to learn about chemistry, right? Um, it can be a catalyst for pharmacology and chemistry. You know, it's really, um, you know, just a fun thing to do if you like chemistry like me, so. Okay, so, um, really all you're going to need for this is salvia and 100% isopropanol, okay? Now, the way that you get that is you go to the store, you buy 92% isopropanol, you add salt, and then you're going to get a layered solution, and then uh, one layer is going to be salt water, the other layer is going to be uh, pure 99% isopropanol, so you just, just pour off the salt wet layer, and then you should have 100% isopropanol. It's really not that hard. I'm not going to go over that in this video, uh, if you really... Uh, any more information, you can look up how to turn 92% isopropanol into 99% isopropanol. And uh, there should be some very helpful videos on YouTube of how to do that. But you're going to need, you know, a good amount of that. You're going to need salvia leaves. You're going to need some dishes. And um, if you really want to create an even more pure extract, you're going to need um, VMNP naphtha. Uh, you're going to need a lot of time. And about it um you are going to need a dark place and an oven as well but you know it really doesn't require that many household items right just like salvia isopropanol vmmp naphtha yeah that's that's it and an oven okay so get your salvia leaves and put them in a blender or a coffee grinder uh, you want them to be as fine as a powder as possible right super super fine almost like kratom powder now you need 99 percent isopropanol uh take that and um, pour 99% isopropanol in a jar with the leaves, right? It doesn't really matter how much you put, like just a good amount. Put the lid on the jar and shake it a lot, right? Like shake it a shit ton and wait for the leaf powder to settle to the bottom of the jar and then pour out all the isopropanol um, and don't pour out any leaf, right? Now the, repeat this process with more isopropanol, clean isopropanol four times. So you've done it a total of five times. And collect all the isopropanol in a dress glass tray cookie sheet type thing. I'll put a picture on screen right now of what I'm, you know, of what I'm talking about. Like hopefully a glass thing with a lot of surface area. Now you're going to have a lot of isopropanol and it should be green hopefully after you've washed the salvia with it. Some people say uh, to wa like wash the leaf with water prior to doing an alcohol extraction because it removes a lot of the tannin, but you do not want to do this. Even though salvinorm is not water soluble, tests uh, have been made like by professional chemists who have determined that water washes can take as much as a third of the salvinorm out of the leaf. So you do not want to do that. Uh, you're going to let all of the and alcohol sit in the shallow tray overnight. Now, you may not be able to see them, but there will be lots of fine particles floating in the alcohol. These particles are tannin and other fine sentiments from the leaf, and they're so fine that it can take up to 16 hours for all of them to settle out of the fluid. Make sure uh, that when you leave it out, make sure it's in a dark place. Light can interact with the salvinorin while in alcohol and destroy a portion of your yield, so it really has to be a dark place, right? 
After all these sediments have fallen to the bottom of your tray, there should just be like a solid thing on the bottom of your tray. Pour all the isopropanol into another tray or dish. Uh, it just has to be a lot of surface area, right? So anything, another glass tray. Uh, and now leave all the solid shit in the other dish. Leave it behind and throw it away, right? Repeat this process of leaving the isopropanol in the dark overnight and see if more solid shit should settle to the bottom a second time. Then pour out the isopropanol into another dish, leaving the solid shit behind. Now, you can even do this a third time, right? You can leave it out for uh, eight hours a third time if you want to make sure that you have a super pure product, but two times is usually okay. Some people say uh, to use some type of filter to pour it through, but really, you know, fuck that. Um, this is supposed to be the best method, and filters can remove some of the salvinorin as well. Um, and each time that you're pouring out um, the isopropanol, you should have, like, a little bit less isopropanol because some of it is going to, like, stay behind with the solid junk that you don't want, you know, which is the tannin and leaf sediments. So you should have a uh, much, like, a uh, lesser volume of isopropanol at this point. After you've done this with your much smaller volume of isopropanol, uh, you know, you should also... It should also look really dark green. I'm, I'm going to put pictures on screen. But now you can leave your green isopropanol with no sediment next to a fan and fan evaporate it. Uh, wait until about 30% of the liquid is gone and then put it in an oven that's been preheated to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and evaporate the rest. Then you should have a dry extract that you can scrape off uh, and it will be kind of like this super dark green wax. Right, you should be done by now, right? This is already a pretty pure extract. If you use 100 grams of dried leaf just to solve the solid stuff in 4 to 6 fluid ounces of Everclear alcohol, and that should give you a really strong extract tincture. But if you want to go the extra mile for a super, super pure extract, you can keep listening. First, um, you're going to do naphtha washings, okay? So use a large enough container so that the dried extract won't take up more than one-third of the volume of that container. Thoroughly mix in VMMP naphtha and set it aside for 30 minutes. Then um, use an eyedropper to take off a third of the fluid after 30 minutes from the top, taking care not to dip the eyedropper in too deep. Do it a second time. After removing a third of the fluid from the first wash and adding more naphtha for a second wash, wait another 30 minutes for the particles to settle in the bottom again before removing naphtha from the top using an eyedropper. Then a third naphtha wash. By the second or third wash, you should be able to see the crude salvinorin at the bottom of your container. And do it with a naphtha wash a fourth time. Then a fifth time. Then a sixth time. And finally a seventh time. Now you have super, super potent salvinorin extract. If you want to get even more potent, keep listening. But it's already super potent as it is, and the more you extract, the more, like, you purify the extract, the more salvinorum you're wasting, right? So, if you literally want fucking salvinorum crystals, keep listening. Pour more isopropanol into your extract, right? Make sure you have removed all the naphtha, wait for it to settle to the bottom, and remove the isopropanol again with an eyedropper. Uh, for the second isopropanol wash, uh, pour out the dark isopropanol and add clean isopropanol to remove more of the wax. Uh, shake the vial for uh, 30 seconds and then send it down and it can take anywhere like from 5 to 30 minutes for the salvinorm particles to settle to the bottom. Then do it a third time. Now keep in mind, each time you wash it with isopropanol, it's becoming super, super pure, but you're also losing its salvinorin. Uh, after the third wash, you should remove as much isopropanol as possible and put it all on a Teflon cookie sheet in an oven at 120 degrees Fahrenheit and wait for it all to dry. Now, this should give you an almost white powder, and it might have a green tint, right? Now, this is a super pure potent extract, right? Keep listening if you want to grow crystals, right? But, like, now you should have a white greenish powder with no chloroform. It's basically pure salvinorum, but uh, you can dissolve all of the powder in about 25 milliliters of 135 to 140 uh, degree Fahrenheit uh, 151 proof alcohol or 160 proof al alcohol. Now, you can reheat the salvinorum saturated alcohol in this vial with a microwave oven to almost boiling, right? You can do this three times, letting the solution cool to room temperature each time, in between each time, and after the third heating and cooling cycle, uh, you should see some large crystals, uh, which is what I'm going to post on screen. By the way, I didn't do this. I got these pictures from someone else who did it online, so uh, we should accredit him. I have never performed this extraction, right? Now, if you actually made it this far in the extraction, good for you, all right? You're basically done, right? You have salvinorum fucking crystals. You can't get any more pure than this, but here's a warning, right? I would not recommend attempting to dose with the refined extract or powder, right? It is 
extremely potent, right? Just a few tenths of a milligram is too strong for many, pe many people, right? Salvinorin is a very potent intoxicant, which can cause reduction to body motor control um, from, you know, for like several minutes to an hour after use, right? Uh, there's too much that you don't understand regarding Salvinorin and its effects. Really be careful. Really have a super potent really good, like, $700 scale that goes to the microgram, as I said, 200 micrograms is th threshold effect, all right, you have just made something extremely, extremely potent, and they don't sell it for a reason, because people might die, but, I mean, congratulations on creating Salvador, maybe we can do some experiences with it, analyze it with DCMS, but, uh, that's it, I hope that this extract was satisfactory for all the people that were asking for it, you know, there were a lot more, I studied a lot of different extraction texts and methods, but, uh, this is what I found to be the best one, and it shouldn't be that hard easier, right, like, you don't need to make the crystals, you can just do the first one, and it shouldn't be that hard.